Howdy folks, Trevor here, spewing the fumes of hatred, and this is the hatred I'm spewing today. Sluggard from uh, Australia, this is their 2010 demo. Um, kind of has a uh, repulsion autopsy sound, but uh, nothing, <clears throat> nothing like too blatant. Um, as far as the repulsion influence, I'd say it sounds more like the 91 demo and uh, uh, excruciation EP. An autopsy, the influence is there, the formula is there, but they don't sound like autopsy. Killer fucking demo. Back for 13 years now, still gets regular plays. So, uh, this is my first video uh, since hitting 100 subscribers. Woo! Uh, I'd like to say thank you to everybody. It's been awesome. Uh, thank you for, you know, spreading the word about my channel or however, you know. Uh, you know, you don't get to 100 in a month without there some, being some word going around. So, you know, that's that's awesome. My tape's already done. Um, I'll just spit it. But, yeah, I, uh, it far exceeded my expectations. And... Uh, you know, it, I have to thank every single one of you for it. So, uh, thanks again. I look forward to making more videos for you guys and, you know, being behind the wheel and, you know, being part of uh, this little thing we got going on. So, uh, new series. We'll be doing Extreme Metal EPs. Not going to be a whole lot of bullshit. Uh, keep it. Keep it at 10, fix that 10 titles per episode, uh, you know, it's less stress on me, I'm sure it's less stress on you navigating, so, we'll get started with a brand new one, and I have to thank Justin from, uh, from Hell's Headbangers for sending it to me with my order, it's a new Democle EP from, uh, this year, came out in January. Yeah, off uh, Agonia Records, and uh, this is excellent, man. Uh, they've definitely grown since, well, I think I first heard of them in 2011, and to me, it just sounded like Dismembered and Entombed again, like 75,000 other bands, but I checked out their last couple records recently, and yeah, it's fucking great. I'd have to pick those up, but this, yeah, this single, Into Victory, is... I mean, excellent. And then they did a cover of Somebody Put Something in My Drink by the Ramones. Fucking nailed it. So, uh, yeah, I'll be getting some more stuff of theirs. And thanks again, Justin, for sending that to me. Another EP that came out this year. Destroyer 666 with Bitter Scorn. Uh, Bitter Scorn, you could have easily thrown on Never Surrender. And uh, it would be half the track listing, which says a lot because that's a you know incredible album but uh they did a really cool cover of i speed at night by dio obviously with their own spin on it and uh, it's killer I'm, I'm glad to own this um i don't know if season of mist would still have this but it was 13 dollars don't go don't be paying 40 bucks for it on discogs uh Band that's been around a long time, but has been very prolific in recent years. Casket with Ern from uh, 2021. These guys are from Germany. Uh, copy 168, uh, 333, Neckbreaker Records. The uh, gold and purple swirl. Speaking of Neckbreaker Records, this is Demord, uh, another band from that label. and. They're a newer band and uh, absolutely phenomenal. But these guys can bear with every release and uh, manage to be even get heavier with every release. They have that just that nasty, dirty sound, but mix it in with a lot of technicality. And uh, yeah, it works, man. Uh, very unique vocals as well. Low growl, but with a little bit of um, kind of gargle sound to it. This is Anoraxy 
with Curse of the Requiem Mass from 2010, uh, Spain. Um, this came uh, from Lee Sako on Ojo Records. And uh, yeah, I uh, love the entire discography. These guys are just killing it with every full length, too. Um, hell of an EP. Uh, Crucifier. These guys are from 92 or 94. Uh, they formed around that time period, but yeah, these guys are fucking evil. Kind of has a black metal undertone to it. Um, we'll have these really dark, menacing riffs, but we'll um, just throw you a curveball and hit you with a very melodic section. They just have these very beautiful melodic passages um, in their songs. And yeah, they'll have that, that black metal-esque tone. Um, but very heavy, dark death metal. Speaking of heavy fucking dark death metal, it just punches you in the face. Uh, Oraculum, Sorcer <laughs> Sorcery of the Damned. I believe they're from Chile. This came out in 2014. I don't know anything else, but I heard the EP that came out, I think in 2017. It, it fucking rips. But this, I mean, just blew me away when I heard it. This was a blind buy. Um, I got on House Headbangers years ago. Thought just looking at the cover, like, this is gonna take me for a ride, and goddamn it does. This is a uh, Corgon Thurst. I mentioned them a few times. Um, with XX, I think this came out in 2021 off of Woodcut Records. And as I've alluded to before, uh, the vocalist or ex vocalist of Horna, Corvus, fronts this band, and they're just, again, like some of these bands, getting better with every release, getting more aggressive, just getting more pissed off somehow. And uh, they're right on that level with Peak Horna. Burial Invocation, Rituals of the Grotesque, uh, 2010, Dark Descent. Uh, for all the Incantation clones that were coming out, this band kind of separated themselves from them. And uh, while they did have that very dark, murky death metal, it doesn't sound anything like Incantation to me. And I think we're one of the better bands to, to come out then. They had a bit of hype for a while and it just kind of dropped off, but uh, I don't know what they're up to now. I know they had that Abiogenesis album that came out a few years after, which I have. It's a great album, but that EP is still my favorite. Oh, it's an old good one, old obscure one. I yeah, just cracked the case. <laughs> this is Belial from uh, 93 with Gods of the Pit Part 2. Moribund Records. These guys are from Portland, I believe, but uh, uh, God, I mentioned Repulsion uh, 91 demo earlier. This is kind of that on steroids. A um, little darker, too. Uh, you know, I'm looking at it, it's, it's, it's got to be dark. But absolutely, I mean, just throttling fucking heavy EP. And uh, probably the first EP I ever bought. Uh, it was one of the first death metal bands I ever got into. Deceased. With 13 Frightened Souls. This is an OG pressing too, I believe, from 92. At the very least, it's a uh, old, old repress. Might have been 93. Yeah, it says 93 on the disc. Um... But yeah, Planet Graveyard is one of my favorite deceased uh, songs, and Nuclear Exorcist is not far behind. It's got a killer Void Vod cover. St title track, 13 Frightened Souls in the Robotic Village. Yeah, man, I love Deceased. And uh, if you get anything on theirs, it's going to be fucking killer. So, yeah, there, there's 10 right there, folks. Uh, again, thank you very much. Uh, for the support and uh, you know, I'll continue making content for you guys because all I want to do is talk metal and I can't do that work can't do that with your average Joe on the street there how many people are you going to bump into that talk about deceased you know 
So, yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, looking forward to making more. Uh, and I should be seeing you in a few days. Thanks, guys. Take care.